Hey guys, Joseph Life X here. This is the part three video of how to make a game for the RBS4 game console. So we're gonna leave back to where we started from. We're gonna go back to we was at the game event. Yes, we was at the game event. So now on the game event, this is where on the menu.p1 script it connects to the event script which is game.functions.gameEvent file your server p1 enter p1 is the type and button enter is the button so now for this remote event you have to put an if statement before as shown you have if main model dot game on we know main model dot data that game on that value is equal to true that's checking if the game is actually turned on now you have an main model that data that enabled that value is equal to true and main model that data dot plain that value equals is equal to true that checks to see if you're actually playing the game on the console. And main model that data that show player, I think it's show show gamer that that value is equal to false. So for the show gamer, that's when you're showing your, your gamer profile when you press P. So you won't be just like randomly pressing buttons in the background while you're looking at your game profile and stuff. So, so now you're checking which type of player it is, which is the type. So you say if type is equal to P1, which is in the menu script, the type, you put fire server, P1, comma, enter, and that's type, comma, button. So type is equal to P1 then now you do if button is equal to enter then so now for the menu open menu oh, yes. put a bull value and name it game on and make another bool value and name it allow. For the game R that checks if you're actually playing the game and you're not just on the menu and the allow is just like a debounce if you guys know what a debounce is. So now off of this you put you put if main not main if TV dot screen dot GUI dot mainframe dot game GUI dot menu dot game on that value is equal to false then enter and that's checking if you're on the menu so now if you're on the menu you will have TV this is where this is where when you press the E button where it says press E to start a game, you put this is where the game starts up. You put TV dot screen. Actually let's make a variable, make it local GUI equals TV dot screen dot GUI. Is it all oh yeah, GUI dot mainframe dot game GUI. So now you put, so now you put, and put it where type is equal to P1 and tv.screen.gui.mainframe.gui.menu.allow.value is equal to true. And that's the debounce I was talking about. So now you put, now you go back down to where the variable was, local GUI. And now you do GUI dot menu 
dot visible equals false that turns the menu off you can put a weight put a weight one and now and now inside of the game the game let's close out the menu make it visible make it invisible and now open up the game so now in the game insert a new label a text label resize it to 1 and 0.2 like that and say press E to click like that and now you just duplicate it by hitting control and D and then position it to point four. Point four. Yes, yeah, point four. And now just put zero. Now for the top one, which is this one says press E to click, rename the test label to top label. And rename to where it says zero, you put put score label. And that's set up right there. Now, inside of the game, insert a new int value, which is a number value, and name it clicks. Just name it clicks. So now you go back to your event script, and now you do GUI dot game dot clicks dot value equals zero and that resets the clicks that was done in the previous game if you're playing more than one game so now enter do gy dot game dot score label dot text equals zero and then that, and that resets the game to where to where it is it's the default of where it starts off from zero zero. So now you put weight one and GUI dot menu dot not menu GUI dot game dot visible equals true. When I go back up to where it says score label Press enter and do GUI that game that top label that text equals press E to click like that and that resets the top label to where it origi originally was which is press E to click so now so now the game is visible now you're starting the game up now go back to where it says if the if statement, if TV that screen that GUI that mainframe that game GUI, all that, you put enter TV dot screen dot GUI dot mainframe dot game GUI. Actually, no. Drag this variable up there and do enter GUI dot menu dot allow dot value equal false and that's the debounce where I was talking about earlier so now you put so now go back to where it says GUI the game dot visible equals true now you put enter wait five wait five seconds and now you do local timer equals five and that's when you're counting down to start up the game so now you do repeat well, now let's do it an easier way let's do it for um, no it's not easier let's go back to timer so now you put repeat repeat wait one and enter 
and then it will it will already put an until under it. So now you put timer equals timer minus one. Now you do GUI, press enter GUI dot game dot top label dot test equals timer. And now you go down to where the until is, press space and you put until timer is less than or equal to zero. So that's just a basic loop of how to make your own countdown stuff. So now you do enter, enter, wait one, GUI dot game dot top label dot text equals go. You can say go or begin. I'm gonna say begin. And now you press enter GUI dot game dot top label not the top label. GUI dot game dot allow dot value equals true. And that turns the debounce off to where you can start it up. You can start clicking the E button once once the game starts up. So now go down to where it says GUI that game that allowed that value equals true. Press enter twice. And do local timer equals how long can we